guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review on most of the Desi XKD collection. So I'm just so excited. I picked up three of the lip products and then the palette and the new highlighter. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I use those products and create magic on my face. So if you wanna continue watching, then please go ahead and do so. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna be taking our Urban Decay um, eyeshadow potion and we're gonna be using this in the original and we're gonna be applying this all over, well, kind of like in the center because then we're gonna disperse it out. And we're gonna be taking this big fluffy, well, big fluffy for the eye, Morphe M173. I love this. And I like to just kind of pat it in and then also kind of disperse it outwards. It does such a beautiful job of making that eyeshadow really stay and lock into place. Okay, so now we can go into the palette. So this is what the beautiful palette looks like. As you can see, it looks absolutely amazing. We're gonna go ahead and start off with this color right here called Churro. And I love that color because I feel like it's such a gorgeous transition color. Um, you guys know I love that type of color for my transition. So that's what I've really been into. And as you can see, I'm kind of like tapping it into this outer part of my crease. And then I'm gonna begin dispersing it out. I feel like me doing this technique really helps kind of create that very pigmented effect to my eye. And then I can just easily go back and forth and blend it outwards. And the key of this is to really kind of blow up the crease color. And as you can see first, I start off really tight down here. And then as the color starts to blend out, I start to take it upward. So it really gives it that gradual build and also that gradual blend. Churro is gorgeous. Literally looks like a churro. Okay, so now we're gonna be taking a tighter brush and this is gonna be so we can really pack um, a certain color just on the crease part. And now we're just gonna be taking the shade Cheens right there and we're going to be applying that right onto our crease. I like the fact that this palette has a mirror so like for traveling, it's excellent. And as you can see, I'm just packing that right on the crease. And this is because I really want there to be a lot of depth on the crease so that when I'm kind of looking straight ahead, you can see that there's like color in there and it's not just one gradual color blown up all the way up. We're gonna go in and apply a little bit more and we're gonna take it a little bit higher this time. Just like that, we're stamping it first. Okay, now I'm gonna be taking my Morphe M506, one of my favorite little blenders, especially for that immediate crease. I feel like it does such a good job of really getting in there and blending as much as possible without really like diffusing it out way too much. Then I'm going back in with the first brush that we used because it has the leftovers of Churro, which is the color that we used first. Um, this will be good so that it kind of blends them into each other perfectly. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and do a halo eye because I wanna do something different. I don't wanna do a cut crease or something like that. Um, so I'm gonna go back into the color. Actually, I'm gonna mix Churro and Jeans together um, just because I kinda wanna see what happens. And we're still using the Morphe 5, M506 brush because it's just so good to like get in there and really do its job I have to say these are a little bit powdery like there's definitely fallout in these shadows so just know that just beware right now you don't have to be so like precise with it because we are going to be cutting the mid part for our crease um, don't worry too much about it just kind of get I guess the starting point of what you're doing and then we can go ahead and figure out how we're gonna go from there. So a lot of doing a halo eye for my eye type is honestly blending. You just spend a lot of time blending because you wanna make sure that it looks rounded, especially with this eye shape. Okay, so as you can see, we're gonna let those colors just be for a minute. We're gonna now work on the um, lid creasing part. So like always, I'm gonna be taking my Tarte Shape Tape um, and this is just going to be to cut the crease. And I'm gonna be taking my Dallium Tools um, Bold Lip Brush, which I love to use to carve out my crease. First going in up here and cutting it, like so. 
And you just kind of want to give it kind of like that tornado looking effect, if that makes sense. Like kind of like in a tri like an upside down triangle. I feel like it just looks really cool as opposed to doing it just like completely square. I feel like this technique works better on my eye shape. I'm not going to make it super like blended out into everything else yet because we are going to go in with the shadow and that will make it look a little bit more dispersed out. Um, I'm going to go in with a matte shade that is kind of similar to what's already on the lid and we're going to be taking this color right here called basic which I am so happy they included. I feel like these colors are very necessary in um, the palette. I feel like these are shades that you use to set your lid. Um, shades that you use to do like a beautiful matte look. It's just a really happy situation. So we're taking that all over where we apply the concealer. Like I mentioned right now, don't stress too much about, oh, it doesn't look blended because once we put in the shimmer colors, we can kind of blend it out with the brown. Okay, so we are going to go in with this shade right here. It is called Try Me. And I'm going to make sure that I just kind of pack it because it is kind of having a little bit of fallout to the edges. That's okay because it's gonna kind of help with that blending into the brown part. These are so pretty. And they're going on so nice and almost creamy looking. Like they look like they're wet. I'm gonna try to use a little bit of MAC Fix Plus. Not because I don't think it's pigmented, but because I kind of want it not to have so much fallout on the edges. Let's go in and see what happens. And I'm just gonna press it. That looks so beautiful. Oh my goodness. I'm living. Okay, so now we're gonna go back in with, um, what is it, jeans, And we're just gonna go and just kind of try to intensify this outer edge because it kind of got lost in translation when we were going in with that beautiful shimmer and try me. So we're just gonna wanna go back in there and do what we gotta do. And you can see it kind of has that beautiful rounded effect and it just looks absolutely phenomenal. Okay, so I went ahead and did this eye. I even popped on a lash. So I want to do a lash on camera so you guys can see the difference. Um, whenever I do a halo eye, I don't like to go ahead and do a wing liner. I like to just leave it like this so that the halo eye speaks for itself. I feel like there's enough drama there to hold it over. So I just do a nice thin line of eyeliner. I like to do eyeliner because I feel like for me, if I don't do eyeliner, my lash does not bond well with just having it there with like naked basically. So I like to do the liner so that when I put the lash on, it's not like, oh my gosh, she's wearing a fake lash. You know what I mean? So that being said, today we're going to be using Intoxicating Lashes by Flutter Lashes. I feel like these were the perfect lashes because they do have drama, but you can still see what's going on in the back because they have that nice flare. So we're gonna go ahead and pop these babies on. And I'm just gonna give it a few moments to get tacky. Never apply the lash straight on after applying the glue because you will have issues. And then I get a little mirror up close and just kind of pop that baby in there. See so how easy that went on because we let it get tacky. If you have issues with applying lashes, try doing this step where you just wait and see what happens as opposed to popping the lash on right away and I'm telling you it's gonna make the biggest of difference you saw how fast that went on to be like why doesn't this work well because you're not letting it get tacky woman okay that looks snatched okay so I brought you guys in closer so you guys can see what I'm doing I'm gonna go in with the shade churro right there uh, we're gonna start off with churro because I want to see how it's gonna look I'd rather start off lighter than darker because I feel like if I would have started off with um Jeans, it might have been too dark and I might have been like, oof, I could have gone lighter. And I'm using my favorite brush for the lower lash line to smoke it out. It's the M508. Um, this is like everything to me. Okay, for today's look, we're going to take it all the way in, which is very rare for me to do. But because it is a dramatic look, I just want to go in and go ham. You honestly do not need to go in again. I feel like with one tap in the shadow and then dragging it outwards is enough especially because in the front part you don't want it to look so intense like you have so much shadow there you kind of just want to use whatever's left over 
of what you use in the outer parts to kind of go ahead and add a little bit more. So don't even worry. Then I'm going to go in with the shade Jeans, which is the darker shade that you can see mostly blown up above. And we're just going to take that on the outer part. I rarely ever take it all the way in here, but I feel like today we needed to make a statement. So we did it. Okay. So now that we did the lower mascara, I kind of want to do one more step to the lower eyes. I know I'm like taking it to extra now. You guys know I live for a white liner. So I think I'm going to go in and do some white liner because I feel like it opens up my eyes. And it just kind of like takes things to the next level. So excuse moi. Yep. That's what I wanted. I live for a good white liner, especially when I do like a very soft look or when I do a very dramatic look, I just feel like it opens up my eyes because sometimes having all around dark shadow can really like make your eyes look a little bit smaller if you have my type of eyes. So I feel like me adding that little extra step of going in with the white liner really opens it up. But I'm gonna be taking the shade Just A Kiss right there, wait. Yeah, Just A Kiss right there. And we are going to be popping that right in our, um, in our tear duct, hopefully this works. Can you guys see that? I feel like I have kind of have to press a little bit. Here, let me take a little bit of Matte Fix Plus. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of like, yeah, go to town with it. That looks cute. It's like a little, a little twinkle. You don't have to do this. This is just me being extra at this point and trying to use as many colors as I can from this palette. Okay. I feel like with this color, just a kiss, I feel like you kind of have to go to town more with it to really get the pigmentation or else it'll just look shimmery, like glitter, glittery. That's what I meant to say. There we go. We're good to go now. That was a little bit harder to work with, but it wasn't too bad. I just used some Max Fix Plus and kind of pressed it down a little bit more and it was fine. Okay, so now we're gonna do the fun part. We're gonna go in with their new highlighter. Okay, so I have the new highlighter and the old highlighter. So this is the old highlighter from the last collection. It's called Fuego. It's a gorgeous gold highlight. Oh my goodness, it's amazing. You can also see that the packaging is a little bit different. The newer one is a little bit more darker. The old one is a little bit more like lighter. Um, so we're gonna go in with a new one called Chasing the Sun. And it was named after literally chasing the sun to get that perfect picture at the golden hour. So um, it looks like this. Ooh, that is pretty. That is beautiful. This was definitely made for my tan skin girls and my darker skin girls. I feel like for somebody who's more on um, the like paler side, I feel like it's going to come off a little bit more darker and it may look prettier as like a bronzer topper because this is definitely golden, like really, really golden. It's very pretty. I feel like when you have a tan, if your my complexion is going to look phenomenal. I feel like right now it looks really nice on me. It looks like more of a highlight from within, like a highlight from within my skin tone color, as opposed to just a highlight laying on top. So I really like it. It's very pigmented. As you can see, it really gave me that full capacity. So definitely a beautiful one chasing the sun. I'm going to show you guys what Fuego looks like next to it. So it looks like that. You can see that chasing the sun is a little tiny bit more. It's gold, but kind of bronzy. This one is just like gold and like bright as you can see, they don't look that much different, but you can see that there's a difference there. So if you're somebody that's looking to choose between one of these and you're more on the lighter skin side, I would go in with Fuego. If you're more like tan to darker skin, I would go in with Chasing the Sun. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the lips. So I picked up three lip products. Um, I picked up a lipstick. This one is Aftermath, which is this gorgeous like fall time color. It's like a burnt red. It's the color that everybody loves to wear in the fall, like for every day. I feel like this is fantastic. I'm so excited to wear this. I went to one Ulta um, and they didn't have, they completely sold out of it. And I was like, mm. when something sold out, I needed a little bit extra more. So I called my other local Ulta and I was like, do you guys have aftermath? Cause a girl needs it. And they were like, sure. I'm like, put that shit on hold because I'm not trying to have somebody steal my lipstick. And then I also got my main, which is more of like, 
It's like a really nice neutral color. This is from their liquid lipstick formula, which isn't a matte formula. It's actually more of like a satiny, like um, more comfortable wear formula, which I'm really excited about. I think I'm gonna be using this because I did a little too much with the eyes. So if I go in with Aftermath, it may be a little much. Um, and then of course I had to pick up their gloss. I am obsessed with the glosses by Dose of Colors. I Love Sarai's Brillo is one of my favorites. I'm really excited to wear this. I don't think I'm gonna wear this today either because I'm gonna do that nude. But um, when I do wear this, I will definitely try it on camera and let you guys know how I like it. But I just love that they did that gold one and then they did this one that's more like silvery, like um, white glittery with like those reflexes of pink. I think it's fantastic. The only thing I wish was different about Dose of Colors packaging is it came in the see-through packaging so that I could see what lipsticks I have. Because even the ones with I Love Sarai, I can't see. I have to look at the bottom to see which one I'm choosing from. Um, so that's the only thing. So per usual, I'm going to be taking my um, Sephora lip liner in Rosewood. This is where you look crazy. It's real quiet up in here when I'm doing my lips because I'm trying to focus. Smells really good. I feel like a good nude is everything. Like if you have a good nude, you can conquer the world. I don't think this one's gonna dry completely matte because it's supposed to be more of that like creamy, like um, comfortable wear. So I'm not expecting it to and that's fine. Wow, that looks gorgeous. And I feel like with this eye makeup, it's like to die for. Um, so I'm really liking my mane. I love how it feels on the lips, super comfortable super just creamy it almost feels like one of those soft soft matte lipsticks um that just come in that like traditional lipstick formula i really like those because i feel like they're really comfortable i'm able to like move my lips and not have them like be like cracking out and i'll be letting you guys know or perhaps you'll be seeing me use the other two lip products in my future videos so stay tuned for those Okay, so this is the completed look. I'm so happy for Desi and Katie for collaborating once again with Dose of Colors. They really killed it. I personally feel like this collection, I like it better than the last collection. And that's just because I wasn't the biggest fan of those eyeshadows. So those are my thoughts. I definitely think this is something that is worth picking up. You can pick this up at Ulta, Ulta.com and DoseofColors.com. It will be available all in those places. Um, so if you guys have picked this up, let me know your thoughts on this new collection. If you haven't picked it up, but you want to, let me know what you want to pick up. And yeah, that's all for today. So if you guys enjoyed watching this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Let's me know to continue doing these types of videos. And if you guys are new to my channel, hi, welcome. I hope that you subscribe because we have so much fun here and I wouldn't want you guys to miss my videos for the world. So go ahead, stop waiting and subscribe. Um, and that being said, I'll be seeing you guys very, very soon for a brand new video.